Hey guys, this is Frozen Things Studios here and welcome back to another video. Today is a very special day, especially with the recent news that Disney has given us. You all know by now that Disney has announced three sequels to some of their biggest properties and in this video, I will be sharing with you guys my thoughts on each sequel and what I can do to make them succeed. Two of these sequel announcements really made my day and some of the, the best news I have ever heard in my life. Unfortunately, there is one sequel Disney announced that, that gave me a WTF impression. I want to get the negative out of the way first, and that is Toy Story 5. I am a huge fan of the first three Toy Story movies. They are some of the most impactful, uh, impactful movies to that medium of animation. I will admit, when Toy Story 4 was announced, I was uh, on, kind of on the fence of it. Yes. Toy Story 3 ended perfectly with, uh, you know, um, Andy um, going to college and giving away his toys to a new child. But um, I was very curious to know how um, the toys would, do with, toys would do with Bonnie. So Toy Story 4 is like a little epilogue. Um, I, I didn't really hate the idea. I was curious to see like how uh, Bonnie would uh, take care of the toys and like what it would be like. Unfortunately, um, it 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 um was not very good. I I thought the film was decent on its own, but, eh, well, it's not great. Um, yeah, I mean, Toy Story Four did have some pretty good ideas, but I I didn't really like how inconsistent with it, in inconsistent inconsistent it was, especially with Woody's arc, like how uh he's treated by Bonnie. I mean, I thought Bon Bonnie was uh passionate about Woody. I mean, she loved Woody, and then. She even called Woody my cowboy. Uh, but uh, but then she decides to dump Woody just just to make um, a plastic toy, Ugh. Um, and also in the movie had a lot of plot holes. Uh, it is entertaining to say the least, but one like bottom five Pixar movies. Like if I were to make a, a, a top five weakest Pixar movies, uh, Toy Story four will be like in it. Uh, not to mention the the story is a rehash of the first two films combined. Uh, Basically, Toy Story. How does it rehash? Um, then you may ask. Well, for Toy Story one, basically Forky had the same arc as Buzz. Like you know, he thinks he's uh, he saw what what he thinks he he's the kind of toy he is. Like you know, Buzz Lightyear uh thinks he's he's a space ranger, and Forky thinks he's he's trash. Um, when they're meant to be toys. So, so basically, they both had you know um several arcs. Uh, Forky is li literally a rip off of Buzz. Uh, um. And then after the Toy Story two bit, uh, basically, imagine the Al imagine Al's toy barn. Um, if if it was stretched uh, for like uh, three fourths of the film, that's basically Toy Story four with the antique store uh plot. Also, I didn't really like the new characters that much. Uh, um, and oh boy, we're gonna see them again. Um, we're gonna see Forky back again. I hate. I I can't stand Forky. Uh, I I Gabby Gabby might return. Why? Uh. And then the film ended with Woody and Bo separating, separating from the rest of the gang. So let me ask you this, Pixar. How are you going to continue this story after the toys separated? After Woody and Bo separated? Pixar said Toy Story 4 is the last one, but... Ugh. I love Pixar, and I've never said I'm not excited for a Pixar film before. Well, actually, I was kind of skeptical about Cars 3. I was not very excited for it. Well, um, but... I can't believe I'm saying this, but I am not excited for Toy Story 5. Uh, I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm dreading it. That's probably a strong word to use for this film. I'm just very skeptical about it and not excited at all. I'm actually glad that a lot of people agree with me that this movie is beyond necessary. This movie is getting massive backlash and, and already getting a lot of hate. And some are even going as far as uh, asking Pixar to cancel this movie. Some people are, are uh, making petition, making a... Uh, Petitions to um ask Pixar to uh cancel Toy Story five uh yeah I I don't blame them because I don't know what Pixar was thinking, and by the way I'm blaming Pixar not Disney I don't care what anyone says so uh, it, it it's not this is innocent in this um sequels have been called cash grabs from before this this before but this is literally the 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 definition of a cash grab sequel. The only positive thing I can say about this uh about a new Toy Story movie is seeing Bo be back. Uh, I know I know Bobby will be the best part. I, I actually watched the the best part in Toy Story Four. I love what they did with Bobby, and and I want to see more of that. I, I mean, heck, I would rather see a Bobby spinoff than another Toy Story film. I mean, why not just give us a Bobby spinoff? Uh, yeah, 
I, I, I'm sure her and the animation will be two redeeming qualities. I don't know. If, I don't know if there will be any other redeeming qualities. Maybe the score because Toy Story is usually con consistent with their score, with this uh, musical score. So I th think uh, this one will have a good one. Uh, but I can guarantee you, this will be bon This will be one of the worst Pixar movies, and uh, it, it's gonna be the worst Toy Story movie. Um, but the question is, uh, will it be a mediocre film? Um a garbage film or a, a surprisingly solid film well to be honest, honestly i doubt this would be solid i think this is gonna be the worst toy story movie ever made i'm probably gonna watch it at home and, and on, i'm probably gonna wait for this on disney plus and i'm gonna skip this one in theaters yeah i'm not gonna watch this movie in theaters i don't care i don't care if it's disney or pixar i i, I know i might watch all pixar movies in theaters not this one though i am not watching this movie in theaters because i don't know why um yeah, I, 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 I'm sure there there will be other movies to watch uh, than, than than this one. I mean, may, we we probably might get Superman Legacy in in, in uh, June. Yes, I mean yes. Uh, they did announce a July release date, but but I mean July is usually MCU month, so maybe Superman Legacy will will we will move its release date to June. And I would certainly watch um Superman Legacy over this one in theaters. Um. Um, yeah, and, uh, yeah, this movie will likely, re I think this movie will release, release on June, uh, 2025, uh, so, yeah, Toy Story 5, uh, Toy Story 5 is, is an absolute thumbs down for me, in fact, I would rather see a Lightyear 2 than Toy Story 5, maybe if Lightyear was actually a box office success, I, um, we would have gotten Lightyear 2 instead of, to Lightyear 2 instead of Toy Story 5, Pixar, please don't milk, milk any more of your franchises, why not make Incredibles 3, I mean, Incredibles 3 is, it, it's a sequel that Pixar should do. Because I've been waiting for that. Hopefully, Pixar's next and out sequel should be uh, Incredibles three. Um, yeah. Um, please don't tell me. Please don't tell me we're making Cars four next. I mean, I don't want a Cars four. I don't. I don't even like the Cars franchise in the first place. Um, you um, I I only like I only enjoy Cars two for um dumb uh, purposes. Um, yeah. Getting the negative out of the way. Now let's get into the two announcement sequels that made my day. First off, let's talk about Zootopia 2. You all know how much I love the first Zootopia. It is my favorite movie of 2016 and, and, and my second favorite Disney movie of all time, right under, uh, do I need to say it? If we're talking about the best made Disney movie, I think Zootopia takes that cake. The movie is, uh, Zootopia is, is absolutely brilliant with how original it, it is and Disney isn't afraid of tackling real world, is world issues of such as uh, racism, pre prejudice, inequality. It's also a very dark movie as well. It deserves to be one of Disney's most critically acclaimed films. The thing that led us to wanting a Zootopia sequel is the chemistry between Judy and Nick. Um, they gave us the best male female chemistry in, in in my opinion. In the end of the in the end of the of that film, Nick and Judy literally confess their love for each other. So it's only a matter of time before we see their relationship grow from partners to ro love interest in the sequel. I don't really have a lot to say about the sequel because since I will admit. I don't really have a, 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 um, a lot of ideas for this. I don't really have much ideas. Uh, I don't know what kind of themes they will tackle. Um, if, if they will reuse the same themes or they will like say, um, come up with more themes. Um, uh, more themes. Uh, um, but I definitely trust Disney that, that, that they can come up with an idea that will not only live up to the first but possibly surpass it. I, I want this to be another dark, to be a lot darker and deeper than the first. Uh, uh, if I do have a, a, an idea for a sequel, a, a small idea, like a, a portion of my idea, I want Bellwether to be brought back. Uh, I don't care if anyone says, says Bellwether should, should come back. Uh, she, doesn't have to be, she doesn't have to be the main villain. I'm sure probably there'll be a new character who will end up being the main villain. But uh, maybe there could be more to Bellwether's character than that can make people like hating her less and maybe even appreciate her more. Maybe give her like a backstory or something. I will, but either way, I will defend Bellwether to the day I die. As for the release date, I think this movie should be the should be the first one released among the the, the three sequel announced because I think uh, Disney should should uh, focus on this one first uh, before Toy Story Four and Frozen Three. The reason why is because uh, um, we haven't really gotten a uh, Zootopia sequel yet. Um, um, and also th th this is the movie that that everyone we can all agree that we're all excited for this one. Um. Yeah, it would re it would definitely be fitting to releases the releases the, the earliest. I may not have Twitter, but I do know that Twitter has uh Disney has posted some empty release date to slots for Disney and Pixar in 2024 and uh, 25. 
Toy Story 4 will, will most likely uh, be released in June 13, 2025. Zootopia 4 will probably release on November 27, 2024. Sadly, Zootopia is not my most number one most anticipated movie that's in the before. If it takes that that uh, release year, uh, because you know you got so many other movies to be hyped for in 2024, like Avatar 3, Thunderbolts, and Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse. Zootopia 2 is easily one of them, probably at number four. I I, I can guarantee that. And then there is November 2026, 2025, which is most likely gonna be Frozen 3. Speaking of which. Now we're getting into the main course of the video, and I've saved the best for last. Frozen 3 is abs is actually happening for real. I knew this would happen eventually, and I'm so happy that he finally heard our voices and it actually greenlit a Frozen 3. Frozen 3 is without a doubt my most anticipated movie of all time. You know, you all know Frozen 2 is my favorite movie of all time. I don't care what anyone says. I will defend Frozen 2 to the day I die. Um, but it looks like it's about to get topped right now. I'm calling it right now. Frozen 3 is going to be my new favorite movie of all time when it comes out. Um, if this 2025 could possibly possibly be the best year ever. Uh, we're getting an Avengers movie on that year. A James James Gunn Superman reboot, which is pretty much the start of James Gunn's uh, DCU. Uh, a sequel to The Batman, um, but, which is The Batman Part 2. The first good Fantastic Four movie um, in the MCU. Maybe, and maybe Armor Wars... Uh, uh, in like early November 2025, the same month as Frozen 3, uh, um, um, which is my predicted release date. Uh, Spider-Man 4 is also rumored to be released that year, considering that, that they're uh, going to start filming uh, in late 2023. And now, Frozen 3. This is the best news I have ever heard, period. No surprise that their responses are absolutely divisive. Some people think that this movie is going to suck and sadly and might affect box office numbers. It, it it's probably not gonna live up to Frozen 2 when it comes to box office numbers, but hey, I could be wrong. Maybe this could be the highest grossing uh, anime film of all time, and maybe, maybe the first anime film to surpass two billion dollars. I mean, that would be cool. Um, and um, what, uh, whether you like the whether you like Frozen 2 or not, this sequel is necessary because there's a lot more story to explore, especially where Frozen 2 ended off. Anna is the queen. Anna is the queen of Arendelle, and Elsa is the queen of the forest. We can have more stories in more stories with with the North Oldra and maybe make Honey Marin one of the main characters. I'm sure you you remember my Frozen Three predictions being one of the first videos on my channel and still one of my proudest. I'll put the link of the Frozen Three uh video down below. If I were to change anything about my predictions for Frozen Three, I would have Samantha be a teenager like a little girl up, therefore having the movie take place like a lot of years after the events of Frozen Two. Um, maybe Frozen 2 could, could start off where Frozen, uh, like Frozen 3 could start off where Frozen 2 ended off and then we get to, uh, and then we, uh, time jump to, uh, Samantha growing up like that, you know, like how, uh, like what, what happened with Anna and Elsa in Frozen 1, um, I would personally get Sadie Sick to voice Samantha, and yes, Sadie is, and I mean the Sadie Sick, my favorite actress of all time, if this actually happens, I think Samantha could, uh, become say six best role and even dethroning uh, Max Mayfield uh, either if, if, if that happens or if say six plays Anna in the Frozen Life Action remake which I, I got a feeling it's gonna come um um I will get her as the main character personally and she's gonna be inspired by Kiri aka my favorite character in Avatar The Way of Water she will have every single element power including like you know ice, air, fire, water, earth and will be the bridge the real bridge of all the spirits so like the spirit spirits but her powers don't really grow until she's older because it it, it, it contributes it contributes to her, to her puberty but uh basically uh anna's gonna, anna's gonna go through what what uh queen induda has done uh, what what i mean you know like how um it did not save agnar um and so so the spirits would uh reward her uh with uh having uh her, her firstborn uh, daughter be magical um i think the same could happen with anna because remember in frozen 2 when uh Anna um pretty much um saved the forest like pretty much uh like the forest has been um like you know um the forest has been in peril for thirty years like like has been in darkness but then um Anna um pretty much uh contrib Anna was the reason why why the forest was saved uh, yeah not not Elsa Anna uh, Anna uh, I mean it, I'll explain why in it um in a future video um 
Yeah, it's like a, so yeah, bring on Frozen 3. I'm ready to see this movie. Opening day. I don't care if I have, I have school, especially the fact that I'm, I'm going to be caught. I'm going to be in college in that year. Maybe I'll take friends to watch it with me. Like some, some of my college friends to watch it with me. Who knows? Uh, maybe like the girls. Uh, so, yeah. So also for my thoughts on the com upcoming Disney sequels that Bob Iger just announced. I'm so happy to, to have Bob Iger back as Disney CEO. Um, I don't hate Bob Iger despite like some of his decisions, especially with the remakes. He's way better than Bob Chapek, yeah. So yeah, screw you, Bob Chapek. Uh, yeah. So, so far, my thoughts on the upcoming DC sequels that Bob Iger just announced. Uh, yeah. What are your thoughts on the, on the DC sequel announcements? And which one of these three are you looking forward to the most? Uh, comment down below, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and stay tuned for more videos to come. Bye, guys.